Today, we're going to unleash our brain power. I was hoping it would be colorful. Here's the instructions. Quick manual. Perfect. Uh-oh. It's all right, I'm a fast reader. Um, let's go. The power button is under one of these faces. Perfect. Yes, that's the future of cubes right there. Look at it go. They grow up so fast. All right, see how these colors are kind of hard to tell apart? This is just the way it looks on the camera, and if you look on the sides, this is closer to what it really looks like, but still the colors are a little bit blurry. So I'll just film the rest of the video like this, which was the only way I could get the colors to show up closer to what they should look like. Let's actually try some algorithms here. So here's a JPerm. Oh, that's so weird. Um, I can't believe I actually did it right on my first try. Okay, now I couldn't do it. The really weird thing about it is on a normal cube, if I'm doing something like L F prime, I would hit the F prime on the side I'm touching, but here I have to touch a different side. And there's not really any corner cutting. So if I turn one side and the other side, I can kind of turn them at the same time. What if I did six sexy moves like this? Oh, oh, that's kind of hard. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, and then if I did it like this, That's actually kind of harder because I have to move this layer, but then also accurately hit this layer versus on a normal three by three, when I move this up, I would just hit right here, which is a lot easier. Let me show you guys the way this thing turns. So if I move this across, watch at what point it starts to take over. So instead of 45 degrees, it was more like right here where the cube just finishes the turn for me. Now that can be good because it means that you don't have to turn very hard and your turns will be more accurate. But the thing I don't like about it, which I kind of did a few times earlier, is if you make a turning mistake, like if I didn't mean to do this, but then since the motor is trying to go down and I'm trying to go up, there's actually a little bit of time where it's trying to resist my movement of correcting the turn I almost made. I think the thing with finishing your turns could be really cool, but if it took over later, like maybe after 45 degrees, where it's sure you're trying to make that turn. How about M moves? <laughs> oh, that, no, that that really doesn't look like it should work. Oh, what have I done? Oh, and it actually, so every side plays a different sound? Yeah, yeah, so when I do an M slice, it plays two sounds at once. Sounds kind of funny. Wait, that means I can also do E slice and S. Whoa, I can do blindfolded on this. Okay, there actually is a way to do blindfolded on this. And to talk about that, I need to show you guys how all the modes work. So let's go back to the power button, which by the way, is always on the yellow face near the charging port in case you have trouble finding it. So it's just right here. I'm gonna hold it for a bit. If you hold it for longer, the whole thing turns off, but now I'm just back in the menu mode. So here it says zero and you can select the options one, two, three. So here's three and here's three, let's go one. So this is just the auto scrambler, but without doing all the motor turns. So how this works right now is I have to solve it and we're gonna wait for a beep that comes after I think 15 seconds of inspection that tells me I can start. Or I can start right away and either way it'll start counting my time. So there it is. Um, I guess I'm starting without inspection. So I'm making the white cross. Uh, whoa, more of it was solved than I thought. Okay, now F2L, can't even find a white piece. Uh, there's, this is red, blue. So pretty much just doing muscle memory. Purple, blue, uh, purple, blue. Ooh, that's set up. Oh. Uh, green, purple, green, purple. Or, oh, okay, that was this case. And white, red, green, and this one. Okay, uh, OLL. Muscle memory doesn't work too well here. Perfect. Okay, now it's gonna show me my time without a timer. So this is the minutes from yellow to white, so zero minutes. And then red green is the seconds. So this was five, four, 54 seconds. 
and purple blue is the millisecond. So this is a nine and this is, I think this is a six, so 0.96. So I got 54.96 and you better read it fast because it's gonna disappear soon. So I can turn this to change the number. I'm gonna keep it on zero, select. And now I'm gonna go uh, with zero, one. So this is the first setting, this is the second setting. And actually let's go for zero, two and select. Now this is going to be a short game where you just try and solve what it gives you. So now it's gonna give me another scramble. Um, this one's two moves, a little bit harder. I don't know how many moves it actually goes up to. Oh, there's a time limit. Okay, I get it. So I won't show every mode. I'll be skipping over a few of them, but the pamphlet that this cube came with tells you how to do all of this. Now, if you go to mode one, select, then this goes from zero to seven, I believe. So let's start with zero. This is the first one. This teaches you how to do algorithms. So this is going to be PLL. And so here it's telling me the first move to do. So turn that. And then this face like that. So this is just an A perm. Oh, it tells me my time. Okay, sweet. So if you go into one zero, that's just PLL. So that's just ending in one step. If you go into the higher numbers, like one, 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 two, one, three, let's just take a look at this one. It's gonna go back in the steps. So you have to do more steps. I don't know what we're doing here. Oh, this is two look OLL, I think. Yeah, let's just not do this. Now let's look at mode two and just go for two zero. This mode is the same as mode one, except it doesn't tell you what to do. So you can solve this however you want. Now mode three is what I was using earlier. So if you select three, then three zero is where the cube scrambles on its own using all of the motors. Three one, it scrambles very quickly without the motors. Three two is a relay. I'm not gonna show this. I wanna actually show three three and three four. So this just does a normal scramble, except once you start turning, it, everything disappears. Then let's turn again and everything comes back. So this is called half blind mode. And so just every second turn, everything disappears. Besides that, it's the same as it just times your solve, but I wanna see something else. This time we're going to three, four. This one is full blind mode. All right, so once you do a turn, everything is gone. It's not coming back until you solve it. So this is like a way you can do blindfolded without needing a blindfold and you can still look at the cube. I guess um, that would be useful to make sure I don't make any turning mistakes because I'm not used to this cube at all. But I'm really interested to see if I can solve this because I do blindfolded a lot. Actually, I think I'll try doing that later. But for now, let's go through a few more of the modes. So let's go to four. Mode four is interesting because it replays your solves and it's, it replays your solves in different modes. So if I go for one, this replays my last solve in mode three. A little bit confusing, but it says this all on the sheet. So this should be the first solve that I did. Uh, yeah, it was a really easy cross, I remember that. Um, it'll just start going, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, it got the part where I did the OLL wrong. That's cool. All right, just reminding me of my mistakes. And this can also be a two by two. So if we go into seven and three, then this is just a two by two. But if I go into seven, four, then it's a two by two with the scramble and the timing and all that. So let me try solve here. Um, okay, so does all the centers and edges disappear? And this is the two by two. I'm having a lot of trouble recognizing anything because uh, I guess this is the same for three by three, but all the pieces that should be together are, or the colors that should be together are the ones furthest apart. I think it started timing me. Oh no, this is so difficult. Nice, I did it. Let's not even look at the time. All right, I'm gonna try doing the blind mode now and I hope I can get it on my first try. So this is gonna be three and four. It's gonna scramble it. And as soon as I do my first turn, everything is gonna disappear. So let me find white green and start memorizing. Okay, so we'll start with corners. This is my buffer and I'm gonna have to remember that there's no orange and it's just purple here, which is probably gonna make my memorization a bit slower. All right, so this uh, is P and then this is, what is that yellow? That's O, Po, as in the panda from Kung Fu Panda. This is the buffer, so let's go here. This is A. Oh, purple really throwing me off. G, Agron, M, R, Mario, Po, Agron, Mario, 
Uh, this is a twisted corner and this one is a solved corner. All right, so one twisted corner back here now is edges. So this is W, uh, wait, there was no parity. So this is, um, let's go to A, way um, oh, off, way off. That's what I'm gonna be when I finish this. Uh, and nope, goo, uh, mid, rest. I already forgot that, that was so slow. All right, let's start. Um, way, oh, I can't go back. Okay, way, off. Oh, geez, this is weird. <laughs> the figure tricks don't work because the pieces don't move the same way anymore. Or, no, there are no pieces. There's like, it's just faces that they turn and there's imaginary pieces in between them. Ugh. Okay, I did way off. Uh, nope. Okay, I really have to make sure I don't turn something by accident, which may have already happened. Uh, goo. Mid. Uh, let's do this. And rest. I caught myself not thinking during that one, so clearly I'm getting very comfortable with this. Next is corners. So I remember there was a twisted corner back here, and other than that, um, my first one was Poe. Wait a minute. Okay, I tested on a 3x3. Three three. I think it ends like this. Next is Agron. Better not mess this one up. Uh, Mario. Oh no, I'm almost turning the back. That's scary. It was just one twisted corner left. <gasps> yes! Yes, I did it. <laughs> what was my time? Uh, yellow, white. That's that's a that's a five. Oh, five minutes. Um, red, green, five minutes zero zero. Almost sub five. And this is a eight, I think one. So five zero zero point eight one. I did this blindfolded. That's that's it, right? I beat the game. All right, that was the X Mars, and that was pretty fun. Not just because I had a success. I also want to give some thoughts on this as a whole. So there are different modes here for beginner learning, and there's also more with the app. Now I didn't get a chance to try it with the app, but based on this pamphlet, you can see what features are available. One problem I had with this is the way a normal cube works is like these three colors make one piece these two colors make one piece and so on. So if you're a beginner learning how this works, I think it's less intuitive to realize that these three colors always, always stick together. But the advantage for a beginner here is right on the cube, it can tell you what to do. So it's based on your cube and not like if you watch an instruction set where it shows you different possible cases and you have to try and match what you have to what they have. Another thing that seems like it might be good is that it can do the scrambles for you for you to practice solving. Although I don't think practicing solving is super practical on this, just the fact that the colors teleports around. And all of that is of course ignoring the fact that this turns nothing like a normal cube. That's why I would consider the X Mars more of its own thing. It is really cool to have, but it's not something that is really going to help you with speed cubing. I think it would be really interesting if this turned like a normal three by three instead of having just the outer faces turning like this, especially with the lights. That's a super interesting concept because it lets you instantly change the cube into any case you want. So yeah, overall very fun on its own, but not the most practical for speed cubing. So that's it for this video. Thank you to XMars for developing such a cool product and sending it to me. If you want to buy it, I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.